Skyler, I heard a rumor that you're interested in following in his footsteps. Is it true that you want to work at his company after graduating college? But I haven't shared that with anyone except dad. Did he pass on that message to you? Well, it's not that. I was just eavesdropping when you were talking with Anthony in his home office. What? You were listening in on our conversation? But that was meant to be a private discussion. Hey, there's no need to get defensive. That wasn't my intention at all. The fact is, it's your fault for leaving the door open. I'm curious though, what's the reason behind it? Why do you want to become like your dad? All right, now that you're aware of it, there's no point in keeping it hidden any longer. Yes, I do intend to work at my dad's company after I graduate, but I'm already making preparations for it. I'm actually quite committed to this path and see it as my future career. As the only child, it's a way for me to honor dad's legacy and carry on his work. Oh, stop being delusional. A girl doesn't need to pursue such endeavors. Why not? I want to work hard just like dad. You know how much I've always admired him and the incredible things he does. He's been a shining example of the kind of person I aspire to become. A woman should find a good man and let her husband provide for her. I'm telling you straight, working is a total waste of your time. Trust me, it won't do you any good. Instead of foolishly chasing those ridiculous pipe dreams, why not focus on getting used to doing the housework? It'll totally prepare you for the future as a wife. Wait, becoming someone's wife? That's not even on my radar right now. Honestly, my main focus is on my studies. I want to lay a solid foundation for myself before jumping into the workforce. My ultimate goal has always been to become a strong and independent woman, you know? Oh, I see. So it seems like you've made up your mind about it, huh? Well, if that's the path you want to take, so be it. Just remember, there might be consequences for not listening to your mother's advice. If you're willing to accept those consequences, then go ahead and do as you please. It's your life after all. Hey, Skylar. I already told your mom, but I thought I should fill you in too. I'll be getting home a bit late today because of a sudden meeting. You and your mom go ahead and eat without me, okay? Again, Dad? I know you're dedicated to your work, but can you please put yourself and your health first sometimes? I don't want you to push yourself too hard. I'm really worried about you, Dad. Take care of yourself, okay? Don't worry, sweetheart. I'm perfectly fine, honestly. We're just in the midst of launching this new product at work, and we're giving it our all to make it a success. Once this whole product launch frenzy is over, I'll make sure to take some time off to go on a vacation or do whatever you and your mom want. Pinky promise. It'll be our well-deserved break, okay? Sounds like a deal, Dad. I really hope everything goes smoothly for you and the company. Sending positive vibes your way. Oh, so you're just gonna have faith in me like that? Without any objections or anything? Quit kidding around, Dad. Whenever you make a promise, I know you'll always give it your all to keep it. This time won't be any different, right? I trust you. By the way, I couldn't help but notice that you seemed a bit down all day yesterday. You hardly ate anything. Is something bothering you? It's nothing, Dad. I don't want to trouble you with it. It's something I can handle on my own. I just need some time to myself. That's all. You know you can always open up and share everything with me, right? As your father, I'm always here for you. I want you to know that you can lean on me whenever you need to. Well, it's about Mom. I've talked to her about my desire to work in your company, 
and she doesn't seem to be very supportive of the idea. I see. Your mom, she's not always like that. But no matter what she says, don't let it sway you. Remember, you've expressed your desire to become a strong and independent woman with a successful career, right? Stay determined in your choices. There will be obstacles and people trying to discourage you, but just stay focused on what you believe is right and follow your own path. Thanks, Dad. I feel so relieved now. You know, I've always admired you. Not only are you a successful businessman, but you're also a loving father to me. You're like the embodiment of hard work. Managing your own thriving business, even though your schedule keeps you away from home most of the time. Whenever you find a moment, you dedicate it to me. It means the world to me, Dad. Oh, sweetheart, those words mean everything to me. I might not be perfect, but I always strive to be the best parent I can be for you. I wish mom could do the same way, but having you there to care for me is more than enough. I've gotten used to mom not being super involved in my life, so it's nothing new. Anyway, fingers crossed that the product launch goes smoothly for you. I can't wait for some awesome family time together. It's gonna be so much fun. Skylar, how's the company managing without your dad around? It's challenging, but everyone's rallying behind me. Dad entrusted me with everything I need. Well, as long as that's the situation. Just make sure you don't let the company go downhill under the second generation. Why do you even care, Mom? You don't show any genuine interest or affection for the company. It seems like you're only concerned about what others think. What did you just say? I see. Now that you're all grown up and finally independent, you think you can disrespect me like a spoiled brat and act like as if I'm beneath you. I am your mother, and it's incredibly ungrateful of you to talk to me like this. You're claiming to be my mother? Ha! That's the most absurd joke I've ever heard. Fine. Maybe legally you're my mother. But you've never been a real mother to me. I don't care if you gave birth to me. Tell me the truth. You never really cared about me, did you? You seem to be losing control, Skylar. That's not the way a properly raised woman should respond to her own mom. A properly raised woman, you say? Have you ever raised me properly? Throughout my life, you've neglected me. Most of your free time, you chose to hang out with friends or attend events instead of spending time with me. As I grew older, your habit of breaking promises became evident. While dad remained committed, your casual approach to promises left me feeling disillusioned. Gradually, I learned not to place much value on your pledges. To me, dad is my only family, not you. Is that everything you wanted to say? No, of course not. There's actually more to say. Are you even ashamed to call yourself my dad's wife? Throughout this whole time dad has been in the hospital, you don't seem to care about him at all. You only fulfill the basic duties like delivering changes of clothes to him. And even that seems like an inconvenience to you. Do you have any feelings for him? Do you lack any sense of gratitude or compassion for dad's illness? You truly are something else. What about you? Have you ever shown even the slightest bit of gratitude towards me? I've raised you, fed you, clothed you, and done everything in my power to ensure you had a normal upbringing. Have you ever thanked me for any of that? Or are you only quick to pass judgment? Oh, please, stop using that against me. Yes, maybe you've done all those things, but they were just the basic necessities for my survival. Honestly, I've never felt any love or affection from you. It's as if you were forced to be my mom or something. 
if you despise me so much, why did you even bring me into this world? Why didn't you just let me die at birth if that's how you truly feel? Say that garbage one more time and I'll smack you hard enough to make your mouth gush blood. Got it now? Loud and clear? If I wanted you dead, you wouldn't have lasted this long. So show some gratitude for the fact that I spared your pathetic life. You're a monster. You're nothing like a mother to me. Just get out of my sight. I don't even want you anywhere near my life anymore. Skylar, now that the funeral is over, you've settled down, haven't you? What's the matter? If you don't have something important to share with me, then it's better to keep quiet. Hey, what's with that attitude of yours? To your own mother talking to you, so have some respect. You have no clue about the struggles I'm facing right now, but I guess it's no surprise, considering you've always been completely oblivious to my emotions. After dad's death, I didn't even have the luxury of grieving properly because you abandoned me to handle everything. From organizing the funeral to sorting out hospital paperwork, I had to silently shoulder the burden of countless responsibilities while simultaneously dealing with the company's issues. Enough with your arrogant attitude. It's the absolute minimum you can do for your father. After all, you inherited his company, didn't you? So it's only natural that you handle these matters after his passing. Don't go boasting about fulfilling your basic duties as a daughter. It's unbecoming of you. By the way, Anthony is already gone, so I don't want to hear another word about him. Please, just leave this house. I've recently inherited $200,000, so I have no need for you anymore. Thank you. What? Are you serious about this? This is some kind of joke, right? I don't have the time or patience to fool around with you an official announcement, so pack your bags and leave as soon as possible. You're no longer a child. Surely you can manage to live on your own. You've been relying on me and your father for far too long. Now oh, it's high time for you to take responsibility for yourself and learn to live independently. Are you kidding me? This house belongs to my father. And I have every right to live here. I, as your mother, have the authority to evict you from this house permanently. Pack up and leave as soon as you can. I'm exhausted from constantly seeing your face here. You're truly unbelievable. You never fail to surprise me with your despicable behavior. Every day, I become more convinced that you'll never be deserving of being called my mom. And what about you? Do you honestly believe you're deserving of being my daughter? What a foolish notion. Out of the house, now. Fine. If you're so determined to evict me from the house, then I see no reason to stay. But don't even dare to think about crawling back to me, seeking help once I'm gone. Come home immediately. I'm still working, Mom. What's the matter? I just need to talk to you. Please come quickly. Come home? Wasn't it you who heartlessly kicked me out of the house? Why are you suddenly asking me to return? Without Dad, I don't even consider it my home anymore. What's your problem? I asked you to come back so we could talk. Is it really that hard for you to do? What do you want to talk about? Just tell me now. Because I really don't want to come back and see you again. You even said you hate looking at my face, didn't you? So there's no point in me returning there. It won't do us any good. Look, I know you took off with all of Dad's inheritance, didn't you? 
I had a feeling something fishy was going on when you disappeared out of the blue. Give me the inheritance that rightfully belongs to Dad, right this instant. Don't even think that you can escape easily after swindling my money. How self-centered can you get? You can't even fulfill your duties as a mother to me and a wife to Dad. It seems like money is the only thing that matters to you. Do you honestly believe that wealth can replace family ties and release you from your responsibilities? What on earth are you talking about? Listen, there's no truth to this $200,000 inheritance from dad. He had entrusted all financial matters to me and explicitly named me as the sole inheritor. There isn't a single dollar left for you. And it was a decision dad made firmly while he was still in good health. What? That's impossible. You might find it hard to believe, but everything I said is true. Dad knew you well enough to trust you with a substantial sum of $200,000. In fact, he mentioned to me that you struggle with managing money and making wise financial decisions. If you were to receive a lump sum, it's likely you would spend it recklessly. That's why he wanted me to handle monthly household expenses for you. He even explicitly stated that if you objected, I had the right to refuse giving you a single penny. No way. But this isn't fair to me. I've taken care of this family and raised you all my life. I believe I deserve to receive something in return. Did you even take the time to watch the video on the SD card I gave you? What's that? I handed you an SD card before I left the house and specifically instructed you to watch the video on it. I suppose you didn't even bother to give it a glance. Typical, but I understand. I imagine all you can think about is getting your hands on dad's inheritance and figuring out how to spend it recklessly overnight. What's in that video and why should I watch it? Just before dad passed away, he gave me an SD card with a video message meant for you. He said to give it to you when the time is right. I have a feeling dad shared something really important in that video. So you should definitely give it a watch. What a bother. That man. Whatever he had to say, he should have said it directly to my face instead of relying on some silly video like this. All right, I'll watch the video, but how do I open it? What should I do with this SD card? Simply open your laptop, insert the SD card, and play the video. It shouldn't be too difficult for you, right? Considering how confident and self-assured you always are. I suppose there's nothing that can make you back down. This is not the time for mockery, you fool. I followed your instructions and found the video. Now give me some time to watch it. Good. Now watch it all the way to the end. Perhaps you'll gain a better understanding of Dad's decision once you finish the video. Hey mom, are you okay? It's been a month and I haven't heard anything from you. Don't you have something you want to tell me? Especially after watching that video? Skylar? I didn't expect you to reach out to me. Well, I really don't know why, but I was a bit worried. You see, I dropped by your house the other day during my lunch break, but you weren't there. Did you happen to move out of the house or something? Me? No, I haven't moved out. I still live in our old house. I'm sorry. I was out working my part-time job during the day. If you plan to visit, it would be best to let me know in advance by sending a message. A part-time job? You know, you don't have to work if you don't want to. Dad already asked me to send you money every month to cover the expenses. I think it should be enough for you, but didn't you watch that video? It was a video letter meant specifically for you. I, I've already watched it. You should take the SD card home and watch it too, Skylar. Can I watch it as well? 
I'm not sure if I'm even allowed to. I mean, Dad only told me to give it to you. It's up to you whether you watch or not, but I believe you really want to see him again, even if it's just on a computer screen, right? By the way, I don't think it's fair for you to be kept in the dark forever. The truth must come out sooner or later. The truth? What truth? The truth about your identity. The video letter will tell you everything you need to know. Did you know about it all this time? About my past? Why did you keep it hidden from me? I feel so foolish now. Honestly, I don't even know who to trust anymore. Both you and dad betrayed my trust. Goodness, can you please calm down? How can I possibly calm down after finding out that you're not my biological mother? Where is my real mother? I want to meet her. You know you can't keep her away from me forever, right? Your real mother? What are you talking about? She's no longer here with us. What do you mean? Where is she now? Treat her the same way you treated me? By kicking her out of the house? If I were in your shoes, I wouldn't rush to such extreme conclusions. Believe me, I didn't feel any better than you do. Listen, it's true that I'm not your birth mother, and I only took care of you because I was requested to. That's all. Then what happened to my birth mother? Tell me the unfiltered truth. No more hiding. I'm exhausted from being kept in the dark like a fool. The truth is, you are the child of my sister and your father. My sister passed away shortly after giving birth to you, and I made a promise to your grieving father that I would help raise you. Since then, I became your mother. What? So, my mother... This is overwhelming. I need a moment to compose myself. Take all the time you need. No need to hurry. I knew this day would come sooner or later. I understand. It all makes sense now. I, I'm at a loss for words. It seems like I misinterpreted things all this time. Why did you choose to be my mother? Dad said that you used to enjoy working at a diner and even had dreams of owning one of your own. What changed? Why did you put aside that dream? Honestly, I don't really know. Your father made a promise that if I took care of you, he'd give me a life of luxury. So yeah, maybe I was doing it just for the money. Is that really the truth? Oh, absolutely not. Do you really see me as heartless? Whatever you may think, I am not a monster. Honestly, I just felt deep sympathy for both you and my sister. Your father was always caught up at work, and being a new father, he probably didn't know how to handle everything. He told me that he couldn't bear to leave you in the care of strangers, and he loved my sister so much that he didn't want to remarry. That's why he turned to me for help. To be honest, I didn't even ask for a life of luxury. But your father, he couldn't find any other way to make it up to me. So he showered me with all sorts of expensive things. I, I'm sorry. I had no idea it's my fault you didn't work. I'm really sorry for not knowing anything. It's not your fault, Skylar. I made the decision myself. But I'm not good with children. So I couldn't handle you well. I'm the one who caused you trouble. Well, this is like the first time we're having such an honest conversation. Thanks for being so open with me, Mom. And thanks for looking after me and being there for Dad all this time. I appreciate it. I know it's still a bit awkward for us to have these conversations, but we'll get used to it over time. If you'd like, you're more than welcome to come back to our house. I'm out for work most of the day, and I know you are too. So I don't think we'll have to be in each other's presence for too long during the day. 
Thanks. I'll consider it. Please call me if you need anything. Our conversations became more frequent, leading us to a decision to use the money left by my father to fund the opening of my mom's shop. As she started working, my mother became more humble. She hesitated when the topic of funds for the shop came up. A behavior that was unimaginable not too long ago. While juggling my regular job, I also insisted with the opening of her diner, which brought us closer and fostered a newfound relationship. When it came to living expenses, my mother insisted on managing them with her own income. Refusing help from my father's inheritance, I made her promise to let me know if she ever struggled since my dad entrusted me to take care of her. I'll be fine living on my own. It doesn't cost that much, but for my diner's expenses, I'll be relying on you. She trailed off, her determination evident. Of course, I'm looking forward to it too. So I'll do my best, I replied. After many years, we finally became a real family, living harmoniously. Although she isn't my birth mother, it was the right time for me to learn the truth. The big day finally arrived when my mother's diner opened. She had worked so hard towards her dream, and now it was finally happening. My mom and I were getting along even better than before, feeling a newfound sense of closeness. After my father's death and the revelation of the truth, I accepted the reality of our situation and chose to live on with just my mother and me. I contemplated moving back to my hometown and living together with her again. Since I don't cook, my mother was concerned about my poor diet and supported the idea of me returning. I explained how touched I was by her care and it made me think that my father would probably be surprised that we were getting along so well. I vowed to protect his house, company, and inheritance while continuing to have a good relationship with my mother. I was determined to honor my father's legacy in order to become a real family. We visited the graves of my father, my biological mother, and my mother's older sister, sharing updates on our daily lives. After going through the adoption process, I finally became registered as my mother's daughter forging a bond that transcended bloodlines.